Welcome back to the Better Than Yesterday podcast slash YouTube today. It is Monday, April the 13th, 2020, episode 166. We got five topics. Let's jump right in. First topic. Look, this is something that I was guilty of, especially in my younger days when I tried to tell y'all. Like, dude, do not use your words for weapons. Like, like I, it's like this. You could you could hit somebody, you could hurt somebody, you can do all those things to people, but nothing even comes close to what you can do long term to somebody uh, uh, from the mental aspect with your words. So use your words wisely. Be kind with your words because that could affect somebody long term. I used to do this to people. I said things that I knew would make them cry when I was angry. Uh, hurt people, hurt people. So we've discussed that many times. So. Use your words like um, wisely. Don't say anything in the midst of being angry or in an argument that could affect you long term. Because I know you might think, oh, I said that out of anger. But that could stick with somebody for a very, very long time. Topic two. Why do we care so much what people think? Why, why is that? What, what, what is what? Why can't we just do what we do without caring what others think? Now, I think as you get older and mature and more secure with yourself, um, and accomplishing your goals, you care less. But when you still fight and, uh, and you see things and you see things from, um, you know, let's look at it from the social media aspect of just seeing things from distance, you think everything's so perfect with this person, but you don't know what they're going through. So you you, you necessarily care what they think because you don't think you're on the level that they are. But there's no need to care what people think. You're For me, I'm a self-motivator. Now, I shouldn't say there's no need because every now and then you do. So I take that back. But for me, I'm a self-motivated person. So I don't need, I don't care as much as I get older. I don't care as much about what people say about what I'm doing because the only person I'm trying to fight be better is, is myself. So better than yesterday, as we discussed many times on the show about the, the name, the topic and all that. But scale less what people think. Unless you're harming people, worry about what you can do for yourself and self-motivate you. Care about yourself. That's who you should be trying to be better than each day. So Care less. <laughs> Don't stress yourself what people think. Because no matter if you're doing good, bad, happy, sad, somebody's going to think something and it's gonna, not going to be in your favor anyway. So it don't matter. You're not going to be able to please everyone. Topic three. Look, this is especially for anybody that's younger. Uh, I looked at my statistics. I really don't have too many people that's younger, um, that listens to me more around my age bracket, even the age bracket a little bit older than me, uh, 35 to 45, something like that. So, uh, if you are young, I want you to give yourself time to, to, to understand what you want to do career wise. Even people, some of our age, we still didn't know. So, uh, give yourself, what do you want to do with yourself long term? If you're young, Th this could be a conversation some of the parents are having with their kid. Like, we, we grew up, we had the rush. I mean, I remember saying, you know, my goal was to be a millionaire by 30. Well, I'm almost 34, and I'm not even close. But but I'm on, I'm on a path that if it happens, it could happen like that. Fact of the matter is, I pressured myself. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. Now I do. I love uh, radio. I love a um, little bit of YouTube, whatever. I love those different things. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm into saving and investing. That's what I do. That's what I like to do. I knew that kind of in the beginning, but I, I was just scared to do that. I wanted to be a broadcaster when I was younger. Uh, I wanted to go to broadcasting school. It was something that I wanted to do. Thought it was pipe dreams. I wanted to be on ESPN and all that when I was younger. Also, uh, I was into the entrepreneur thing and uh, videos. If you can see throughout the years, I made YouTubes. I made a uh, podcast or recorded on radio, things like that. I've just done those things. So I knew early what I wanted to be. I knew I was in into investment when I was younger. I just didn't, you know, business was all my thing too. That's what I initially went to college for. So give yourself time to, to mature, age develop. You know, I started fighting towards money instead of fighting towards passion. Now that I'm getting things established money-wise, uh, passion comes and now passion is turning into money. So you see what I'm saying? So I know that's a cliche thing that people believe that um, uh, do what you like, you know, this and that. But I, I honestly, I think it's the truth because you focus in, the money comes. Now, you just don't want to get yourself in any type of debts, get yourself going to school, 100 grand for a degree that only makes you 50, 40 grand a year. That's not cool. You know, you can make that now, you know, <laughs> without a degree. So give yourself time. 
to figure out what you want to do. And it's not too late to go back and do things that you want to do. If it's something you're interested, as long as you don't cost you abundance of money, like I just said, you're good. Topic four. Look, I'm not, I love history. I love the past. But I'm, I, I, I respect it. Now, I may not romanticize it. Uh, we could talk about so many things about uh, the past people writing about the music was better, sports were better, this and that. But honestly, I'm one of those people that don't think that the past was necessarily better. I think we get better as people. There is some things, but there always be some po uh, some negatives to the positives too. I think it's more positive nowadays. Now, people think just because I don't romanticize the past, I don't, you know, I, I'm not all into it like they are. That I, di I disrespect. That is not true. Uh, a lot of the past is how I grew up. That's how I was raised, you know. So, again, I, re I respect the past, but I do not romanticize it. I don't think it was better than today. I think today is better. Look, uh, look again, prime example. I am recording uh, my podcast simultaneously while I'm recording my YouTube. Uh, we didn't have anything like that. If you weren't going to a, a studio to get things done. You can do this back in the days. Now I can reach so many people by just posting it on my social media, which to let y'all know, I am back. I came back yesterday. I took my four day break. I feel better as you can see back on YouTube uh, as well. Anyway, whole point of what I'm trying to make is the past. I think we as a society, as human beings only get better. We get wise. I think our kids will be way smarter than us. Now, they might be a little bit more spoiled than us. They might be a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say soft, but more sensitive than us, which is not a bad thing because we were overly masculine and aggressive and too hardened that um, we lost emotional touch. Uh, our parents lost their emotional touch with us. That's why Gen Xers and and, uh, and uh, millennials have issues too because they're our parents or cousins, older cousins and uncles and stuff. And we're all we, there's a communication problem between us. The younger generation seems to get along with us more because us millennials we uh, cooperate no more. And on another topic, while I'm thinking about it, hey, millennial stops at 91, guys. So anybody born after 91 is not a millennial. Just so y'all know. Anyway, but the whole point. I'm trying to make, because I lost my point there. The past is great, but it wasn't the best. I think we only continue to get better. You see what I'm saying? So I respect the past. I respect the way I was raised. I respect the hardness of it all. But I also think that things are getting better. Final topic, topic five. Look, there's, it, I don't know what this is, a societal thing where, hmm, well, I'm trying to get the words together for this one. Because the topic's there. I just want to make sure I say this right. Look, why do women, like, why, you know, when a man and woman meet each other, why is, like, a woman cooking, like, a, a requirement? What, what is, you know, like, why is that something, like, I guess I'm one of the few guys who don't care if my woman can cook or not. Now, don't get it twisted. My lady can cook. She's cooked for me tons of time. And I think she's amazing at it. I'm, 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 I'm impressed. It's good. But I never asked for it because I just think she works you know, when things are flowing and everything's moving forward, she's always working too. You see what I'm saying? So I don't ask if she wants to do it, she wants to do it. So my thing has always been to clean the kitchen up when she cooks. That's our plan because I don't cook myself. Now, people think just because I don't cook don't mean I can't cook. My mom taught me how to cook. I know how to cook for myself. I just don't. I like at the time, I just want to do what I think. As I get older, things slow down. I don't have so much going on. Then maybe I'll step back in. No, I ain't going to say maybe. I will step back in the kitchen. Now, I just don't think a woman's requirement for being a woman is to cook and clean. First off, my mom always say, don't let a woman do for you for what you can't do for yourself. And I always took that to heart. So I don't need a woman to cook, clean, do none of that. I do all of that myself. Ask around, they'll tell you. Fact of the matter is, if you're going to require a woman to cook and you're like, oh, can she cook? She better be able to cook. You better, as the woman said, as I saw on my social media, you better be able to fix stuff. You better be able to be a mechanic. You better be able to, uh, uh, to, to do stuff around the house. See me, I can't have those requirements. I'm not a handyman. Now, I know a ton of people who are that will teach me or will come fix it for me. That's why I also pay for things that monthly that people can come over here and fix stuff at my house. You see what I'm saying? So fact, fact of the matter is I don't require those things because it would require me to come with some too. Now, even if I could, even when I get to a point where I can fix things, cause I'm, I'm, my goal is to learn as I get older. Um, I'm still not going to be requiring my woman to have to cook and do all that. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, 
Thanks for watching the Better Than Yesterday pod or YouTube and listening to the Better Than Yesterday podcast. Um, again, today is Monday, April 13, 2020, episode 166. I am glad to be back on YouTube. I took a hiatus. Again, I appreciate y'all for being there and watching. I still seen people listening when I wasn't on social media, so I appreciate you all for that, but I'm going to keep coming with it. Trying something new this evening. Um, you'll see, um, for those who don't already listen to the episode yet, you'll see this evening what's going on. Anyway, y'all have a great day, and you can still go attack them goals.